any bigger actor behind R2-D2 dies. The 3 feet 8 inches actor, who starred in 6 Star Wars films as well as Time Bandits and Flash Gordon, was 81. The British actor who played R2-D2 in the Star Wars films has died at the age of 81 after a long illness. Kenny Baker, who was 3 feet 8 inches tall, shot to fame in 1977 when he first played the robot character. He went on to play the character in The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi as well as the three Star Wars prequels from 1999 to 2005. He also appeared in a number of other much-loved films in the 1980s including The Elephant Man, Time Bandit, and Flash Gordon. His niece, Abigail Shield, paid tribute to her uncle. She told The Guardian, it was expected, but it's sad nonetheless. He had a very long and fulfilled life. He brought lots of happiness to people and we'll be celebrating the fact that he was well-loved throughout the world. We're all very proud of what he achieved in his lifetime. Baker and Shield's father, Ian, grew up in Birmingham. She said when he was a child, he was told that he probably wouldn't survive through puberty being a little person in those times. They didn't have a very good life expectancy. He did extremely well in his life. He was very ill for the last few years so we had been expecting it. He had been looked after by one of his nephews, who found him on Saturday morning. Baker met his wife Eileen after an appearance on the Michael Parkinson TV chat show. She wrote in and said she was a little person too and wanted to meet him. They got married soon after. Shield said, sadly she died of epilepsy about 20 years ago. Shield added, he had problems with his lungs and was often in a wheelchair. He was very poorly for a long time. He was asked to go out to LA for the new Star Wars premiere, but he was told he was too ill to travel. Luckily he did manage to meet George Lucas again when he came to Manchester. Baker's agent, Johnny Mons, said he had known him since the 1960s when they were both club entertainers. He was part of a double act called The Mini Tones, his partner being Jack Purvis, who sadly died after an accident with his car. We worked together in summer shows and charity events before I went on to become his agent. And his then-wife Eileen and Kenny also became great friends with my own family, with Kenny visiting my home on numerous occasions. Kenny also went on as a solo artist and then eventually moved into films. Kenny was truly a great friend, one of the nicest guys you could ever wish to meet and a fabulous and talented performer. My wife and family will miss him terribly.